Urban Meyer and the Gators knocking off Tennessee this Saturday. And, of course, the, the war of words continues to go on. <laughs> Meyer basically said he, he didn't think the balls were playing to win. They weren't playing aggressively enough. And then he said that a whole bunch of his guys were dealing with the flu. Well, of course, Lane Kiffin <laughs> had a response to that. Have a listen. This offseason, the commissioner made a big deal about renewal of vows and what we're supposed to say about other teams, other coaches, and other players. Um, obviously, Urban feels he doesn't need to follow that. We, we won't we won't say anything else. Would you ever say another team or coach didn't play to win? No, I would never say that. Do you have flu concerns right now? I know that something from Florida was, was battling. Do you have concerns that this team may have some issues with, with some sickness? I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll wait and see. And after we're not excited about a performance, we'll tell you that everybody was sick. <laughs> Every time I see it. There's no back down. There's no back down in Lane Kiffin. He's a young guy. He's in the SEC for the first time, and he's tweaking everybody. What did you think, Jamel? I think that Lane Kiffin is 2-0 this week. He won Saturday. I was at the game. He won Saturday because Florida, like everyone expected, did not ring them up by three or four touchdowns. And now he's won again because he's gotten Urban Meyer to engage in silly trash talk. Okay, you're Urban Meyer. You've won two national championships. You have Tim Tebow. Why are you defending and justifying yourself to someone who basically started coaching college football five minutes ago? Months ago, I would have said that Lane Kiffin, you know, he's acting kind of like an idiot. He's starting all this trash talk. But now I think this man is brilliant. He's the most entertaining coach in college football right at this second. Sorry, Mike, Mike Leach, because that would be number two for me. But he, he got him uh, to come down to his level, if you he will. Did. Okay, Urban Meyer was clearly sensitive about the fact they didn't do what everyone else thought they were going to do. So he started talking about the flu, and he actually said that he was worried about the swine flu. <laughs> I mean, uh, Really? Who does that? You know, I feel like Saturday Night Live. Really, Urban? Really? Swine flu? So I, I just think I, I think Lane Kiffin has just suckered him right on in. And if you're a recruit and you're watching, you're looking at Lane Kiffin and thinking, I think I want to play for that I guy. I hear you. I completely and utterly agree with everything you just said to the point that I am astounded that Urban Meyer stooped so low to engage in this that he turned Lane Kiffin into a sympathetic figure <laughs> and into the most popular new coach in college football, right? I agree. He's funny, he's likable, and, and Urban came on Sunday across as so petty, so defensive, so gotcha, so goat gotten, you know, just, <laughs> I, I got to talk my way out of this, that he reached for the swine flu. And when he reached for the swine flu, no, and it's no joke, obviously, right. but... It, it just seemed like so defensive that you said, wow, Lane Kiffin got him right in the heart, right? Right. Well, and then he said those guys, uh, Will Dibbs and the, the other two players,